Man, hold up, man, hold up. So 20th Century Fox just dropped a new trailer for X-Men Apocalypse. Supposed to hit theaters next Memorial Day 2016. This trailer was amazing. Let's talk about it. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. So I love the way this trailer started off. It's interesting because 20th Century Fox has, well, I'm sure they have a lot of YouTube channels, but I'm subscribed to the one in the States and the UK. And the, both trailers are different. The one here in the States did not show the dream sequence of Jean when she was dreaming that the world was over, but the UK trailer showed that, and that's the one that I saw first, and I loved it. Usually trailers start off really slow, and then they build up to the middle to the climax at the end, but this one just started out with flashes of greatness, and then we cut to Jean in the bed with Charles standing over her, and she's panicking and nervous, saying, oh my gosh, I saw the future, the world is going to end, and Xavier is just like, no, it's just a dream, and I love every moment of that. That was fantastic. It was a great way to start the trailer i loved absolutely everything about this trailer this trailer was fantastic i remember when the x-men days of future past trailer first came out i wasn't a fan of it it wasn't until like the last trailer to where i was actually on board for that film but oh my gosh i cannot wait to see this movie i'm more excited for this movie than i am now about batman v superman possibly because of that whack trailer they showed us last week spoiling everything but this is almost at the level of Captain America Civil War, and that just makes me happy. All the characters in this film look great. We get to see Jean Grey. We get to see Archangel. He looks like a badass throwing those shards out of his wings. We get to see Nightcrawler. And when they first released the stills of Nightcrawler, I did not like how it looked. I just thought it looked ridiculous. But seeing him actually on screen with the effects mostly done, I'm sure, with all the cinematography and whatnot, he looked fantastic. We get to see a young Storm, a young Jubilee. She looked great. I hope that she has a pivotal role in this. Everyone looks badass. And I really like the way they're going with the story. It looks like more Mataggart, she knows a lot about Apocalypse and the Four Horsemen that went back into tens of thousands of years ago. And I was kind of wondering, I'm like, well, how do you know so much about this and have all these files? But I'm sure the film will tell us that when it comes out and Brian Singer has a plan, of course, they're not going to ruin everything like in the trailers like they did with Batman v Superman. So I am excited about that in the story. And what I like, and I'll be honest, initially in the trailer, I did not like Apocalypse voice. But towards the end, it did seem very sinister and dark and epic. But at first, I, even though I didn't like his voice initially, I liked his lines of dialogue where he's saying people have called me Raz and Krishna and Yahweh. And I love that. I mean, I also love, it looks like all the X-Men were scattered apart in different parts of the country or the world. You know, they had some fallout or something like this because this takes place 10 years after Days of Future Past. Some, I think 1983 to be exact, but I could be wrong. But it looks like they're scattered around and they have to come together and assemble and fight to take on Apocalypse and the Four Horsemen because we get to see Mystique, Jennifer Lawrence saying, hey, you know, I'm here to fight. So I'm like, it's not like they had a team or something. I mean, it looks like they're coming together for the greater good and I just cannot wait to see that. Something else that irked me when the stills first came out of Apocalypse was I didn't like his face. They didn't really show it too well in this trailer unless you kind of paused it and stared at the screen. But something that bothered me is when I know, when I know, remember Apocalypse, he was like a tall giant or could grow his height. And they actually put that in the trailer. They didn't put too much, but I was like, yes, we're going to get a giant Apocalypse. When, and I just love at the end where Apocalypse is like, everything in their world will fall and I will build a new one from it. Yes, yes, yes. Give me more of that. I cannot wait. This trailer looks amazing. This movie looks epic. It's about to go down. So guys, that is just my opinion for the new X-Men Apocalypse trailer. Have you seen it? If not, get on it. I put a link in the description box. It's about to go down. I cannot wait to see this. So what do you think? Do you want to see this? Have I turned you off? Have I turned you on? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you didn't like the video, that's fine. Just let me know why in the comment section below and still give me the thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get all the content that I have to provide in the past and in the future. And look at your bottom of your screen. You can find out where my website is, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. 
and share the video. I'm not going to get mad if you share the video, but guys, thank you for tuning in. And before you go, my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.